there, it's Lindsay Upton the Quilt Quine with another very simple project for you to try on your Bonina L890 cover stitch and overlocker machine. It's quite low tech. What I'm doing is really creating new fabric using leftover scraps. And the scraps in question are two and a half inch binding strips. I have lots of these. Some of them are quite long and some of them are quite short. I've actually just chopped these up into nine inch lengths. So two and a half inches wide, folded in half and ironed flat. I have also got a roll of painter's tape or masking tape, a roll of very tiny washi tape, which I shall use to mark something. And then I have six business cards strapped together and stuck down with some masking tape. That's it. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm sitting down in front of my Bonina L890 with my low-tech adaptations for how I'm going to sew these pieces of binding together. So this is my stack of six business cards. I've used masking tape to stick down the pile to the sewing base of the machine. The edge of the cards is just to the left of the feed dogs. So the bottom strip is going to tuck itself along here so that it stays in line. And then on the foot I have attached a small piece of washi tape. It's like um, masking tape. It's not sticky like sellotape, but it's marking where I want to line up the top piece of fabric. And it's actually in line with one to the third ridge along. That's where I have decided it's going to go. So I'm using the three thread cover stitch narrow, number 23, using the left cover stitch and center cover stitch needles, and just with some fairly basic thread. Now, what we're going to do is put the first strip under the foot and the raw open edges are going to the left. And as you see, they're going to butt right up against this stack of business cards there. And then the other piece of fabric, this colourful one, I'm going to put the folded edge of this up against the pink tape, like so. OK, then I'm going to put my foot down and put my needles in. And I'm going to and I'm going to start sewing, not too fast. Every now and again I can just flip the top one out of the way to check that the underneath strip is still in line with my stack of cards. So let's have a little go. You can see that the bottom strip is butting up against the cards and the top strip I'm keeping the fold lined up with the pink strip that I've stuck on my foot. And just every so often I'll flip the top up just to have a look that I've still got the bottom one in position. It doesn't matter hugely if I veer off by a few millimetres. All I'm trying to do is sew them together. Right, then I need to just grab a couple more strips because really I'm just chain stitching everything together until I run out of pieces. So the underneath strip, the raw edge butts against the card stack and the top piece, the folded edge lines up with the pink tape and then we carry on. Check every now and again that the bottom strip still butting up against the pile of cards and then just by eye keep the fold of this top strip in line with the marking tape on the foot that is all try not to go too fast it's tempting and we keep going until we run out of strips 
After a while, you'll have several pairs of strips, so you can just join the pairs together and keep going until you have made a piece of fabric, which is roughly the size of a patchwork block. It would be perfect for rail fence, for instance. So the raw edge of the underneath strip goes up against the stack of the cards and the folded side of the top piece goes under the foot so just every now and again check that the bottom piece the raw edge is lined up against the stack of business cards and keep the folded edge in line with the marker tape on the foot and you can grab another pair and join those together as well now I've got strips of four, so I'm just going to carry on in the same way by putting the raw edge under the foot, right up next to the stack of business cards, and the folded edge lined up with the mark on the foot. As you can see, I'm now about to join two chunks of this new fabric together. They're actually 16 strips all together, two sets of eight, and I can just keep on going like this, um, using up all my different scraps. I could cut each one into other chunks or strips and then join them up a bit like a rail fence quilt, and it could just be a totally random piece of fabric that I'm forming. It could be a quilt or some sort of tablecloth or a bag. It's just fabric that I have reconstructed out of bits that were lying around, just scraps. So as you can see, I have now made a new piece of fabric using leftover binding strips. Equally, it could have been a jelly roll that I really didn't like the look of. Um, and I can cut this again and rearrange it. I can turn it into quilt blocks, I can turn it into table mats, I can turn it into bags. It really doesn't matter. I just thought I'd experiment to see what I could do with my scraps. Just in case you want to know, that's what it looks like on the back. So obviously not finished. Pretty good for a new piece of fabric made out of things that were destined to be thrown away. Why don't you just have a rummage through your scraps and see what you can come up with.